Ladies and gentlemen, to present the services category, please welcome our next presenter, Paul Lilly, Group General Manager, Sales and Service for Business and Consumer Banking for Westpac. Paul, welcome. Thanks very much, Peter. As a major services provider for Australian business, Westpac is absolutely delighted to be a supporter and sponsor of these awards. We know that small to medium sized business is really the economic engine room for, for the country and a major opportunity. And as our customers are always telling us, banks are only as good as the businesses they bank. This country has a terrific pool of talent and you, the finalists here, are the inspiration for people to get out and give it a go. On behalf of Westpac, congratulations to you all. I've talked to a number of the judges and I understand that this was not an easy decision for them to make, but the decision has been made. And so without further ado, I'd like to uh, announce the winner of the services including financial, business and property. And the winner is Peter Tiefel of Teletype Labels. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges commended Peter's ability not just to dominate Australia's label market, but also to beat many of his international rivals to the punch in their own markets. They also praised his energy, his company's huge capacity for innovation and an excellent incentive programs for his staff. Peter, this is obviously a very emotional moment for you. Yeah, I started in the business as an apprentice. My father was right and he thought I was a dickhead. <laughs> say something tonight about the guy who sent me off on an industrial course and his name was Ralph Cook who was the headmaster of King's College. I was in year 10 and he got me into the office with a big leather table and he said, Teagle sit down. I've got some advice for you. He said, I think it's time you left the college at year 10 and started in your father's factory as an apprentice. I said, what if I don't take the advice? He said, you'll be expelled tomorrow. <laughs> he led me into this industrial area. So I wonder if I know. I wonder if he now, when he has a bottle of wine, looks at the label and thinks, I wonder if it was that Tickle bloke who put that label on that bottle. You hope so. Well, is he here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> in the last few years, you've started manufacturing in South Africa and the United States. Yep. What's the next big thing for your company? Europe. Europeans have got no idea how to produce a decent label. <laughs> Tonight, the one thing that really stood out, and the one thing I really loved about you, was your passion for fish yep. and marlins, yep. and your passion for the Murray River, and the time that you spent rebuilding a 70-ton paddle steamer, which you have your master's ticket, don't you? You steam up and down the Murray. Yep. Is that your switch-off time, or are you still switched on and thinking about Europe or thinking about the next 
advancement in technology in labels. When I hit a sandbar <laughs> in the panel statement, I'm probably thinking about labels. <laughs> when I'm in the boardroom at Collar Type, I probably should be on the sandbar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We saw your emotion as you came up, and uh, as we said, it means a hell of a lot to you. Just your family, your supporters, would you like to thank them? Yeah, I'd like to, the first group of people I'd like to thank is the people I've sacked. <laughs> if they were still with me, I wouldn't be here.